Hi friends, this is Shivang here and today I am going to explain the structure of animal cell and the function of cell organelles inside it. As you all know, cells are the basic unit of our life. All the organisms are made up of one or more cells and the products of those cells. Also, cells carry out life activities like metabolic activities and requires energy, growth and they also have a limited size. New cells arises only from the pre-existing cells by the process of cell division as, is, as stated in uh, cell theory. Let's talk about the components of the animal cells. There are three main components of the animal cells. First is cell membrane or you can say plasma membrane. Cell membrane or plasma membrane is a bilipid layer composed of proteins and carbohydrates. The cell membrane separates the cell from its external environment and is selectively permeable. It is, selective, uh, it is called selectively permeable because uh, it controls what gets inside the cell and what gets outside the cell. It uh, protects the cell and provides the stability to it. Proteins that are found embedded within the plasma membrane or a cell membrane with some extending all the way through in order to transport materials. And the carbohydrates are attached to the proteins and lipids on the outer lipid layer of the cell membrane. Next is cytoplasm. This yellow colored portion inside the cell is called cytoplasm. This uh, cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance composed of a uh, mainly water and found between the cell membrane and the nucleus and uh, the cytoplasm makes up most of the body of a cell and is constantly streaming. S other cell organelles are found in the cytoplasm and the substances like salts are dissolved in this cytoplasm. And the next is nuclear envelope. This nuclear envelope separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm and uh, it surrounds the nucleus. It is a membranous layer around the nucleus and the nucleus is a control center of the cell means it controls all the met uh, metabolism and the reproductional activity of the cell. This uh, purple colored uh, fluid inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm and this blue colored uh, structure in the nucleus is called nucleolus. Nucleolus is a component of a nucleus which contains the genetic information that is DNA deoxyribonucleic acid on uh, special strands called chromosomes. And now rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is called rough endoplasmic reticulum because it is lined with uh, small red dotted uh, ribosomes in this diagram and it is it also appears rough and the next is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It does not contain any of the ribosomes and is or and it is also appears smooth. Endoplasmic both these endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membranous canals filled with fluid. They carry materials throughout the cell and this both endo endoplasmic reticulum is uh, the transport system of the cell. Next is ribosomes. Ribosomes are the small particles which are found individually in the cytoplasm and also line the membranes of the rough endoplasmic reticulum as we have talked uh, as I've said earlier and uh, ribosomes in the cell synthesizes protein and they are also called factories of the cell. This uh, pancake like organelle is called Golgi bodies or you can say Golgi apparatus. They are the stacks of the flattened 
flatten membrane they also as i've said they also look like pancakes they are temporarily store they temporarily stores protein which can then leave the cell via vesicles pinching off from the golgi bodies and these are called lysosomes lysosomes are the organelles which look like uh, sacs or they they are also called uh, sac like structures surrounded by a single membrane and containing strong digestive enzymes which when released can break down organelles as well as food for digestion they are also known as suicidal bags next is mitochondrion its singular form is mitochondrion uh, but its plural form is mitochondria mitochondria are round tube like organelles that are surrounded by a double membrane with the inner membrane being highly folded as as you can see in this diagram the mitochondria are often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell because it releases the energy from the food molecules used by the cell this energy released by the mitochondria is in the form of atp atp means adenosine triphosphate which is used by the cell to perform different type of metabolic activities and the reproduction activities some muscle cells require more energy than other cells so it would have many more mitochondria than other cells next is vacuoles vacuoles are fluid filled organelles enclosed by a membrane they can store such as food or water minerals or waste products now the last one is centrosome centrosome is an organelle of the cell that uh, serves as the main microtubule organizing center of the animal cell as well as it is a regulator of cell cycle progression there uh, means uh, centrosomes are associated with the nuclear membrane during prophase of the cell cycle means in the mitosis phase of the cell cycle the nuclear membrane breaks down and the centrosome nucleated microtubules can interact with the chromosomes to build the mitotic spindle the centrosome is copied only once per cell cycle so that each daughter cell inherits one centrosome containing two structures called centrioles so that's all about the structure of animal cell and the function of the cell organelles inside the cell if you guys have any query related to this topic you can or you may ask me in the comments section and if this video is helpful in learning the structure of animal cell then please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos see you guys in the next video have a nice day